up everybody 915 Mang here doing a video today I just wanted to show you something uh, that I've been using for my on my tank and uh, it's really really effective and works really good um, what it is is a calc Wasser uh, dripper yep really easy as you can see this is a uh, food um, container so it had uh, like chips and things like that, really good. Uh, this is some RO tubing. And then that little accessory right there is a adjustable sprinkler, right? You can get these up at the drip line sections of Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, whatever you guys have. Um, and it works good. I just put some silicone right there. Really simple, really easy to do, really inexpensive. You know the traditional way of doing things is uh, getting this thing pitting the uh, calc washer in your uh, auto top off area and then your auto top off will go ahead and pump it into your tank uh, the problem with me is I don't like the big mess that it leaves uh, it leaves a big mess your auto top off area where you put the water will be all nasty and everything and this allows me to take it off clean it and uh, it works really good. I'm using the Bulk Reef Supply Calc Wasser. Uh, good stuff and pretty pretty cheap. The Germans call this stuff lime water or Calc Wasser. This actually doesn't have any lime in it at all. What it has is uh, calcium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Um, it's great stuff. And my experience with using it is that my corals have taken off. Uh, it's really good, really cheap stuff to use in your reef tank. A lot of people, like I said, use it in their auto top off. Um, the only thing I don't like is like the dust will get stuck to the glass and things like that. This is why I'm making um, my little reactor, homemade reactor. Um, you can go ahead and buy one if you want. I know Bulk Resupply, they sell things where you can make it yourself, but where you can use their stuff to make a DIY dripper but this is all stuff that you have at your home and uh, save your money for your corals right so you don't have to use all that money uh, on a reactor because the reactors and dosers and things like that cost a lot of money a doser itself would cost about 200 something dollars and uh, even if you buy a Jabo one uh, you really don't want to dose it. The easiest way is to do put it in the uh, auto top off if you don't mind the film at all. It's up to you how you want to do this. This is my water station and I'm going to just use some RODI water, drip some of that into my container and stir it around as it's mixing. Uh, just really concentrate. I only use like a tablespoon of this stuff and I'm going to be dripping it into my tank over a while when I first did it I slow I did slow down the drip quite a bit and uh, you know I will just want to put that out there if you guys have like a nano uh, maybe you don't want to use this stuff too much uh, it's recommended that you dose it in your tank at night due to the fact of the pH levels but I have a 150 gallon tank so it's not like it's gonna overdose my tank at all um, I did slow down the drip quite a bit and uh, I just want to show you like how easy it is and how long it's going to last. If you guys are using calc washer, let me know how you are using it. Most likely, you know, you guys are having it in the auto top off section of your tank. It's too easy to do it like that. Uh, this lasts quite a while. It's really easy to do. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money on doing it. Um, I am doing the two part, like I said, but it's not going to hurt using the calc washer and uh, really good to go. Now, uh, that's where people usually pit it off in the right hand section of the tank in your auto top off. But, you know, I just like how clean it, my tank is. I do have like wire mess and things like that, but what I'm talking about is that calc dust. Uh, it gets stuck on the side of your glass and all that. And uh, instead, just put in a little reactor, make it DIY. And just drip it into your sump. Um, I'm doing it on the top of my tank because as I walk by I can just shake it up and then uh, you know watch it as it drips. I've seen that uh, one container actually lasts me quite a while 
lasts me up to a week I just do like a really really slow drip like that uh, you know the concentrate is on the bottom and uh, it, the rest of it is nice and clear as I walk by I'll go ahead and shake it up and then let it do its thing again because you know with the reactors they have like blowers and pumps in there and uh, you know I don't need all that this is just simple easy to do and uh, may have been maintaining my tank pretty easy so I hope you guys like this DIY how to do a calc dripper you know I just shake it up easy easy thing to do uh, you could use a Powerade bottle poke a hole in it with the drill Put some RO tubing, put a little bit of that silicone right there. I'm using the 100% uh, silicone just in case you didn't know, and it's made by GE. But I'm going to end this video. Just want to say hi to you guys. Hope this helps. You guys take it easy and take care. And hit that subscribe button, guys.